So what do you really need for going out on a, on a trip? Obviously you need a tent, a sleeping bag, a mattress, obviously you need a cooker and a little bit of food and not more than that pretty much. Uh, I mean, if you want to make your life better or easier, you get yourself a nice power bank <laughs> with a lot of cable to it. Obviously coffee is a good thing to have. I still use my Primus set that I did already basically two reviews about. Um, this one actually comes with a little plastic inlet, which is really nice for scooping snow and whatnot. So um, it's always good to have that. What I usually do is um, this part here is for pissing <laughs> and the one in the front is for uh, for going in and out obviously and also for the cooking part because I usually scoop the snow to the side and then I use that um, which works really well. Um, what you need for uh, for food and whatnot it depends a little bit on what you have if you're if you're using um, you know travel lunch and whatnot you know that usually comes with an already zipped bag you know that you just close up and then just put hot water over it and boil it up that works really well I personally don't really like the taste of most of them I usually use, use a different brand uh, it's tent meals but you need a thermos can for that. This one is really nice, the thermos, because it already has the um, spoon to it as well. So that makes it a little bit easier, everything. You usually get a lid to it, you don't really need it, so I never really take it with me. So if you use that, uh, you can put whatever you want in there, you know. One is more than enough, you know, putting, putting oats in there, uh, you know, mostly or whatever you use. And then um, dinner in the evening, obviously like, you mix the taste a little bit because there's always something in there. But what I usually do is you need to drink a lot of water, you know, when you're out on the tour. So you have to boil up quite a bit, not only for the dogs in my case, but also for myself, you know, I need about three liters at least, you know. So what I usually do is afterwards, when I finish this, I just fill it up with hot water and drink it. So that works really well. Uh, so you don't have any mess. And um, they last for, for quite a while and for the purpose of going out on a tour it's more than enough to have, you know, to have it lasting for half a day. It depends a little bit on how I feel. Uh, I'm not really a morning eater right now since we're just going on an overnighter. I don't drink any uh, food right now so maybe a little bit of a snack later. That is a nut mix which is always good to have. Anyway. Um, I usually don't eat in the morning because uh, I tend to get hungry really, really fast afterwards when I eat too, too early for some reason. So I usually just prepare it, take it out on the tour and eat it like halfway in or something like that and then snacking and whatnot, you know, usually just grab a couple bites of, of nuts so I have a little bit in the stomach, go out, you know, and then uh, eat that one later. Coffee obviously, talked about it. But again, um, you need a power bank, which is always good to have. I just bought a couple more, um, not really high-end or something, but they were really cheap. And I wanted to see if they work out quite well. Uh, 20,000 milliampere hours, uh, that's kind of what you need. Um, I can charge my headlamp and everything with it. Um, right now it's nearly drained because my headlamp was nearly empty. I, but on an overnight it doesn't really matter, you know, so that's why I just charge it and see how it works because that is like, it's still a little bit of a learning curve and see how long I will, um, I will last with all that stuff in that setup that I have now because the headlamp is new. Uh, so um, I have three of those, I'm uh, going to take them all with me on tour. This one is shit here, it's uh, just sliding around so I take that off. I will uh, eventually put a little bit of a cover over it or nothing, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's, it's aluminum right away, so always have to add a little bit of mind when you touch it. It's tricky sometimes. 
Because nice you can get like frost bites and everything quite easily, you know, getting cold hands. So it's always good to, to cover this stuff in in something like I did with the thermos here. Put a little extra over it. Um, just some cheap ass, um, an old uh, yoga mat or whatever you have, you know, just put that over there so you have a little bit more protection. And that is really what you need. You don't need that much. You need don't need a pillow for sure. That's the cover for my sleeping bag. I just stuff my clothes in there because you can't dry them anyway. You know, it's cold, so nothing's gonna dry. So just stuff your clothes in there and use it there. So it works really well. Up here, you have a little bit of, a, of an extra thingy. Uh, it's really nice when you actually, when it's really, really warm and the sun really burns on it in springtime, then of course you can dry some stuff a little bit, but it's not really that efficient, obviously. But I just put some clothes here. Uh, in the winter time, you have to be careful due to moisture. If you stuff stuff in here on the top, it's gonna get moisture on it. Have that in mind. So it's good to, to put some stuff during the day or whatever, you know, uh, but later on, don't do it. Hey, hey. Two boys making noise. That rhymed. <laughs> no, it's Anirok uh, and They, um, for some reason, they they argue with each other there. They usually they are actually quite nice with each other. Otherwise, but um, here on a on a stakeout, they seem to have a little bit more problem with each other. It's mostly because. The dogs actually, when they start playing, they yank on the lines all the time because they're all connected with each other, you know, due to the main line. But when they're getting yanked around and they don't, they don't want to play around, they get really annoyed. So we have to learn that they <laughs> may not play around too much there. All right. So again, you don't need much to go out on a normal day or even on longer trips. I mean, if you go out on longer trips, the only thing you need more is food, fuel, and maybe more power banks and a solar panel or not. Solar panels, it's good to have, but not really that good. It doesn't really work that well if you're out in the winter. Um, springtime, yeah, they work quite okay, but in other, in other times, they're not really that efficient, so don't really rely on it. Hey. Yep. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. 